Hello and welcome to That Bridge Homestead. Today we're going to be planting some more seeds in May. So let's get started. So what I've done is I've filled up a load of these like little tr trays, treylets up with compost as you can see this is compost mixed with vermiculite and it's very wet because you kind of want to have wet compost so you don't have to like dis lodge the seedlings from where you've put them i've also because this is a bit of a rubbish compost i've pulled out all the twigs that you kind of find in the compost so let's get started look at my hands Blech. Blech. okay so we're going to start off with one of these lovely trays, compost. And let's start off with our brassicas that we need to be sowing. First comes first, my favourite brassica in the world. And this is a Chinese cabbage. We need this because I really like fermenting this as kimchi. This does not overwinter well, just FYI if you were thinking about it. There we go. Right. So you can sow this from May, which is now all the way into August, which is very exciting. And it produces cabbages. You can use, grow them as baby cabbages. You can grow them as adult cabbages. I'm going to go ahead and grow these as adult cabbages because i want to store them as kimchi they are nice raw as well like unprocessed without the kimchi i do want to have quite a few at one time because i want to make a bucket full of this at a time so i'm going to go ahead and put what i've got back in the packet wiggly fingers okay and we'll have to probably buy some more of that Okay, it's called Napa cabbage or Chinese cabbage. Okay, so I'm just going to very lightly, probably with this drier stuff because it's more fluffy, I'm going to just sprinkle and cover the seeds with a little, little sprinkle. I'm going to go for this root cop. It's a red cabbage. We do love red cabbage as a fermented treat. Oh, check it out. I see the rest of this red one, shall we? Or should we do one line of the red one? This was 10 pence, this. There we go pretty decent little selection of seeds for 10p you literally can't go wrong with 10p can you i might do two lines of these because this the red cabbages are my partner's favorite so let's keep him happy shall we all right So we're using that for coleslaws, mostly. Um, I want to can some, some coleslaw as well. Um, I think that'd be a really nice idea for the winter. Next, <clears throat> do you hear that voice break? Next. Okay, so the next one is a larger um, green cabbage. This is Copenhagen Market 2, which is very exciting. 10p. And it's got free label. Oh, goodness. This is very exciting. Boom. Look at me using my free label. So I can sow these only for the next two months. These are a September cabbage, which is exciting. This one is a September cabbage as well. Mm -hmm. And they do store rather well. But in September, I'll be in the, the what I like to think of as coleslaw season. 
where I'm going to be eating a lot of coleslaw and barbecue food because it's going to be still quite nice weather, but not, you can't really plant anything that's warm loving at that time. You see what I mean? By the time these come out, I'll be pulling out my tomatoes. There we go, look at those. Dunnage. That's the first lot done. Should we go for some more cabbages as we're going to be harvesting and storing them? I know what you're thinking, but don't don't you go back to work in September? Oh, I can't imagine anything less stressful than... No, it's nice to have something to do at the weekend, isn't it? I'll do it I'll probably one Sunday, sit and just store them all up. A lot of these will store nicely just left on the side as well for a month or so. Oops. Or I'll just throw all the seeds on the floor, whichever comes first. This one's called winter cabbage. So this is in a September or October cabbage. Um, it's called brass wicker. So it's an edible, obviously. Plant it out in a couple of months. Very exciting. There we go. So that one is done. What other cabbages do we have? We have this one, which is a conical shape. It's called Connie D. Boo Grosso. Um, I think it's the Essex accent that makes it sound incredibly upmarket. What do you guys think? I reckon so. So this one is going to be a September cabbage. I'm going to be all cabbaged out. You know, I do this to myself every two years. I do this to myself because I eat a lot of cabbage. And then I'm like, I can't bear it. I can't bear it. I can't bear it. The next year, I don't grow hardly any cabbage. And then the year after, I'm like, oh my God, I miss cabbage. I've got to have some. So then I plant loads of cabbage and then I'm sick of it. It's like a beautiful, a beautiful circle of cabbage life. Summer cabbage green. I have no idea. When it comes to looking at that, I'll be like, what does that even mean? I have no idea. It's going to be exciting. I'm going to cut that label a little bit so it fits in a little bit better. Because at least I'll be able to read the label and not, not be like, where's the label gone? Look at that. It's very exciting. Okay. Oh, I lied. Look. Bam, 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 bam. Holland XL. I've had these for a little while now. These are massive cabbages these are a november cabbage plant them now you get them in november which is very exciting i got these from marshall's like i said i get my seeds from all over the place b and q were the last ones i love the b and q sale i'm so hitting that this year 10 pence for seeds you can't go wrong with 10p seeds i strongly believe that now i know there's another cabbage there but I know I have. Where's my sequoia cabbage? My favourite cabbage. Where are you? Aha! Sequoia cabbage. So let's put that one in. That's a November cabbage. I'm just going to write November cabbage on it. So I know. Now this is a very late cabbage. So we will be sowing this. This month and next month. Okay. But you will be having it right the way up until March. Which is very exciting for a cabbage. Because that means we can have sequoia cabbage all year round. Well, during the winter months anyway. This is probably my favourite cabbage by far on the look of it alone. So we're going to go two rows of sequoia cabbage. I'm going to sow these every week until um, July. But I think I'll need to buy some more. Because I've only got four seeds left. So December all the way. So this will be Christmas dinner, these lot. Not all of them, obviously. But they can be stored in the ground. Because nothing's really growing. They can be stored super, super, super well for later on in the month. fibrous look this um particular one and you've got a lot of wood chip in it that hasn't quite broken down yet next year this could be a good compost which is upsetting because i bought it this year uh, a big piece of wood chip
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some more brassicas. I'm going to do one row of sprouting broccoli. Yes, we have sprouting broccoli, but this is for later harvest. Because this harvest will go up until now, May. Which is very good because that kind of fills up the hungry gap. Look how many seeds you get there. That is awesome. So we're going to do one of each. It's just a little mix. Do we know what we're going to have for our Christmas dinner already? We know. So... <laughs> so we know what we're going to have for our Christmas dinner already. And it is May. How crazy is that? In May, I'm already being like... Dinner, check. <laughs> Talking about advance notice. Do, 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 do. It is five o'clock in the morning and I'm like beyond happy. I'm just getting this sorted. This is better than a laying. Can you remind me when you see me next year and I'm like, oh, I'm sick of cabbage, I'm sick of broccoli. Be like, you were so excited about growing that. Lettuce. Ah, Brussels sprouts. This is the last time, early May, that you can sow Brussels sprouts for this sort of time ne next year. So I'm going to go ahead and do one row of Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts, keep saying this, is a very important harvest for us because Jasmine loves Brussels sprouts and we want to fill that hungry gap. Ideally, I want to have something every month to harvest, every week to harvest, to sort of two things offset my food bill which is important and to give us some healthy organic vegetables at a reasonable price so let's do the old i think they were they bull's blood do i remember bull's blood and these are from just seeds which is a very good company if you want cheap seeds so these are swede um i think the americans call them rutabaga and they are a very important harvest for us all the way over the winter months now it's a pretty decent amount in there as you can see go ahead and sow these because I don't know, remember when I think I got these seeds like two years ago. I'm going to go ahead and do two per row. I really like these mashed with carrots. And we eat a lot of sweet. We probably eat the sweet once a week during the winter. Because we do get big sweet. Our sweet tends to grow quite massive. So when I say once a week, they, they are huge. So we do eat them for a couple of meals once a week. These are slow growing, most brassicas are. So it's important to sow them at this time of year. I used to sow them in winter and they did really poorly because they don't want to be sown in winter. So it's important to sow them at the correct time. So they have all the growth that they need. And basically in the winter, all you're doing is storing them in the ground. You're not doing anything other than that. You're just kind of like holding them until the weather improves. A little bit like a root bed but we're so um what's the word we are quite warm here we're only um zone 9a so we can store things in the ground okay so i'll be sowing that for the next couple of months and making sure that i have a good amount of swede at least one per week for over the winter months until probably about March, because March, when the weather warms up and we do move on to our spring harvest, our peas and stuff like that. Okay. Growing your own food, you do have to become a little bit more in touch with what you're eating. And you do notice more probably the seasons that we eat. But Swede is very important harvest for us. Especially Christmas dinner. Got my Christmas dinner. Christmas dinner. Okay, let's move on. Two more brassicas. So I do have this one here, which is red drum head. I do like this one and it's the last month that we can go ahead and sow it. Red drum head is a red cabbage and I do like our red cabbages. 
huge seeds. Look at them. All brassica seeds. Focus. All brassica seeds look the same. So these seeds I got from C, um, Mega Seed Store. Okay. I like Red Drumhead. And whilst I'm doing that, I might as well do some green Brussels sprouts as well. So the way you find out that these are harvestable is that you, you squish them and they've got no give. Let's go for the Brussels sprouts, shall we? This is the last one for these as well. These ones was are in from Seeds Maker Stores. I do like these packets. And these are called Seven Hills. Right, moving on. We're going to be looking at some cauliflower. This is purple cauliflower, which is rather exciting. This cauliflower is frost tender. You would kind of think that all brassicas are like able to be out in the elements, but cauliflower I found to be very frost tender. I will be storing some of this in Piccalilli and in the freezer. I don't remember the store. Oh no, Happy Shop. Green Happy Shop, sorry. So it is a purple variety called Viola. Viola. Should we do an igloo as well? Yep, this is the last time we can sew igloo. Do some white cauliflower as well. Last row. What brassica should we do in the last row? So we do. Do we do some more sweet? So for this whole tray, I'm going to be doing um, these asparagus. I love asparagus. We've just started harvesting our asparagus. We've grown from seed, which is incredibly exciting. And I would love more. I like to grow them in trays and then move them into pots later on down the road. And then about during the sort of dormant period, I will sow them out in early sort of January, sort of February, March time. Depending on the weather, I could even wait until April to do so. There uh, is all of them. Asparagus. And I think I got this on major discount as well, which is very exciting. So three years and we'll get a harvest from these bad boys. Talking about patience. When I first started growing, I was like, three years? I'd never grow something that took three years for a harvest. But now, now I'm like, worth waiting. I mean, I waited seven years for a tree. It's not something that bothers me anymore. It used to when I first started half growing, but not anymore. I'm just like, well, I'm going to be alive in three years' time. I might as well have something to show for it, eh? So those ones are all done, which is very exciting. Okay, so this whole one. So this whole side, I'm going to do beetroot. So let's start off with some golden beetroot. I'm multi sowing this in twos. Remember, these come in seed clusters. You don't want more than four in a cluster. So two is fine. I might do two rows of golden. I like the golden ones. They're nice for salads. What have I got? I've got this chicora, which is a candied beetroot. It is a stripy one. If you don't like beetroot, I suggest doing the light, the coloured ones. They do grow better. Right, now red beetroot. I like these for pickling. I'm going to do two rows of red beetroot. If I've got enough, look, it's a much smaller seed. And they have a coating on them to stop them from rotting. We show up better as well, don't they? Yes, they do. These ones are from Mega Seed Stores. These are called Boulder. Right. And last but not least, we have some Avalanche. Oh, these ones are also. I've got a seed coat on them. 
um, mega seed stores again i quite like the seed coats on them because it makes it more likely that you are germinating not you personally but they are so once these have sprouted i'll be planting them out in a bed <laughs> take them with me <clears throat> Just gonna put a little bit of a top dressing on them. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Where's my label? One last label. So I do need to go in and make some more labels. I'll do that now. Thanks so much for watching. And if you like this, please remember to subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye. What? You scared me because I didn't hear your voice. If I finish what I'm doing, I'll come make tea. I've got tea. I'll have a tea, thank you. You'll have a tea in a minute.